welcome to City Place Doral. If you have been thinking about moving to Doral, Florida, then you came to the right spot because today I'm gonna walk you around City Place Doral and I'm gonna let you know everything you need to know about living in City Place. I'm gonna show you where people actually live when they move here in City Place. I'm gonna tell you about what people do for fun, nightlife, the school systems, the pros and the cons. And if you stick around, I'm going to let you know little known secrets that are only local known. So we're gonna get after it right now. By the way, my name is Betty Gonzalez with the XP Realty and Doral Homes by Betty Gonzalez. If you're thinking about making the move, call me, text me, or send me an email. If you're new to the channel and you want to know everything that's going on in Doral, Florida, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll be the first one to know what's happened in the real estate market here in Doral. Before I walk you around, let me tell you a, bit, a little bit about City Place Doral. City Place Doral was built in 2017 and was created by the Related Group and Shoma Homes. It is located right off of Doral Boulevard and it has at its center an oval plaza. As I mentioned before, Doral City Place is one of the two developments that was created with the intentions of creating a walk, live, play area in Doral with a walkable a system where people could just walk to dining, shopping areas, entertaining, and even to go to the doctors. As I'm gonna show you, we have some offices down here that a lot of people don't know, they don't even talk about. City Place Doral, it's the go-to spot here in Doral with its upscale restaurant, outdoor cafes and bistros, shopping wonderlands with diverse range of stores. But it's not just a place, it's a vibe. City Place Doral is where the community comes alive, where connections happen and moments are made. And guess what? We are not just changing Doral, we're adding our spice to the whole scenes in Greater Miami and Miami Beach. But I see the place is the place where people like to come in the afternoons for a stroll. They can come at night time and also have an ambience of a nice uh, stroll walking through the town, as you can tell. Uh, right at the fountain, uh, that's where they host most of the activities. And on Sundays, they have a marketplace that brings all of the local artists. So you should come and check it out. It's pretty fun. I'm going to show you uh, one of the secrets that I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video, but before I get there, let me come right across the street and show you my favorite spot. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm going to bring you to one of my favorite spots here in City Place Dora, which is Sloan Homemade Ice Cream. So let me bring you in, follow me. And here is my favorite spot, step into Sloan's ice cream, where I promise it is not just a dessert, it's a journey into a whimsical wonderland. Their ice cream is something else. They're locally handmade, super premium, and absolutely free of artificial flavors and colors. Imagine pairing with the freshly baked brownies and cookies or treating yourself to succulent dip apples. But wait, it gets sweeter. They got a candy wonderland with bulk candy that they will make your eyes widen. And for a touch of nostalgia, explore their collection of toys and merchandise that will take you straight back to being a kid in a candy store. Since 1999, they've been crafting this magical experience and in the batch of the top 10 ice cream parlors in America, according to USA Today. Come on over and get the kid in you with the sweet excitement together. Now, let's sit down a little bit and, and talk a little bit more about uh, City Place Doran while I sip on this shake. Mm. This is so good. <laughs> I finished it before I was able to, <laughs> to tell you more about what I wanted to talk about. So, let's walk around and show you around and then tell you the rest of the things that I want to share with you. So I told you that I want to talk to you about the housing, the schools, the what people do for fun, and nightlife. So I already showed you the flats. So if if you want, if you're looking to move here and actually find a place to live, so one of the places that you will be looking to to move to is either rental, which is the flat, the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video, or you could be moving to the manors a city place those are also apartments but those are going to be for you to buy now for the rental it's going to run from 2100 for a little studio and or from ranges of one two or three bedroom apartments on the upper of 4300 those are going to be to lease now like i said if you want to buy one it's going to be at the manors a city place oral and those are going to go for the low 
uh, 500 and on, on up higher. Now, if you would like a single family home, that's gonna be right across the street, not right here in the immediate plaza, that's gonna be off of that street and across the street, I'm gonna show you later, as well as the manors are on the other opposite end. And there, the single family homes, right now, uh, you can get one of six that are on the market. Now, those go from as low as 1.75 to as high as the low 2 million. I wanted to bring you to the map because I wanted to show you the actual location of where the real estate is located in comparison to where the actual Dura City Place is. So remember I talked to you about the flats. The flats are located right in the, in the main street above the shops. That's what you have in each side. You have uh, the apartment complexes uh, that consist of 303 units. And those are mainly for lease. You will find those for leases. They're not uh, for sale. The other location right here, like I'm using Zillow because I want to show you the properties that are actually available. But I'm also going to show you Google Maps. So as you can tell, it shows here that our city place and right across the street, uh, you will see this is the location right here where it has the single family houses that you can see here single family houses and then off to the side you have the manors a city place Doral, which those are the ones that you could buy however there's none available to purchase right at this time so you're not able to get into an apartment i mean you could get to the apartment but you couldn't buy one but you cannot buy one at the manors right now because there's none for sale however for the single family houses you do have right at the moment six available one two three four five and six and they're ranging from 1.7 million all the way to the 2.3 millions so this is what i wanted to show you if you actually want to move into the city place and have the amenities right right there and there i also want to point out that if you were to live right in this community just a short walk, you will be able to come to the Dora Central Park through the back way. And even if you if you live at the manors right here, which is located in this area, you are also a short distance walk to the Dora City Place. And you are going to be very close also to uh Dura Atrium, which is currently under construction and it's gonna be off of 36th uh, Street or Dura Boulevard and 79th Avenue. And this is going to also consist of a redevelopment of existing office on the north, like I said, west corner of 79th and 36th Street. And it is going to consist of 70, over a little bit of 78,000 feet of commercial space with 350 uh, multifamily units and 225 parking spaces. So the whole point uh, that when they were developing Doral is that they wanted to have walking distance from all of this little kind of neighborhood. So Doral City Place, you're going to have the atrium right here at the corner of 79 and 36. And if you go across the street of 376 and then uh, this kind of like inter street, you're going to come across to the back side of downtown Doral area right here. This is the whole downtown Doral area. So a short walk across the street, it will take you to uh, right here, Doral City Place. You're going to be able to walk to the atrium and you're going to be able to go to uh, downtown Dura. Now, so where will my kids go if they go to school, if you move here? Okay, so the school here, if you know anything about Dura, you, you know that we have the school of choice. But the schools that are closer to the city place Dura are going to be Renaissance Shadow Middle School, downtown Dura Middle School, elementary as well as high school among others now those are charter you're uh you're welcome to go to the schools that go to the address that you live in however for any other schools even if they're public schools you can choose or your parents can choose to send you there you are just gonna have to apply after you move in and then for the charter school it's in the lottery system you will have to put in the your child's name 
and then from there they do their, their lottery system and select your child they're gonna be able to go now and i wanted to show you right here on the map where uh, the schools are located in reference to the actual uh, city place. So city place is right here, what I'm showing you right here on the map. So it could make it a little bigger. Um, so it's right here. And then if you can see right here, you have the Oasis Apart Square, which is the single family homes that I show you here that are in the million dollar range. And right here is Renaissance Middle School Charter School, which is right across the neighborhood. You are also very close to downtown charter schools. Now, I understand that they are in the lottery system, but just to give you a, a proximity of how close they are. Uh, this is downtown middle and then a little bit higher. You're going to have downtown Doral Upper Academy, which is your essential is your high school. And, and also, if you are in the military and you will either be living close by or traveling to Southcom, you also have your U.S. Southern Command Elementary School right here, Alpha 36, which you can see everything is in real close proximity, as well as... Uh, South come itself, it's right there off of 33rd Street. So here you have it. Now let's go across and let's go to the plaza that I talked to you about earlier. This is where families come and gather around. You sit around the plaza, as you can see here, around the fountain, which the fountain, as I said, is computer motorized. And it goes to the rhythms of music. So as soon as they play uh, music, it start dancing to the rhythm of of the song that they play they also host market here uh, at, on sundays like i said earlier for the local artists so if you have anything that you would like to showcase or sell this is where you'll come to do it here in city place do that again the theme has been for the summer the beach and we have the balls here uh -huh, and actually today is the last day that they're gonna have here the balls uh, the beach balls, the city place for that. So I brought you here right on time, right before uh, they get rid of it. So here we go. <laughs> so here we go. We have security here all the time. And um, okay, so what do people do for fun? Like what, like I'm telling you right here, this is what people do for fun. But also you have seen a bistro that you can bring your kids for the afternoon. Now, keep in mind that three years or younger are not allowed and if it is past six o'clock you can also don't bring your kids after that it's going to be just for the adults because they offer uh, alcoholic beverage and you're also able to to enjoy a meal or two if you want to they also have desserts as a matter of fact i'm going to throw a picture of two of the last time that i came with my family so <laughs> I, I love their mediterranean salad i believe <laughs> and then i'm, I'm going to show i'm going to throw the picture there now for nightlife, what people do is they come here to King's Ball, right here. It's a bowling also. They have a very uh, extensive variety of food among alcoholic beverages. That's also for adults. Also, you have the Cooper Blues Rock and Pop. Now, they have live music at nighttime as well as dining. And you know what? Let me go over there and then show you where the Miami Improv Comedy is at so that you have a very idea where it's located here in the City Place Plaza. But before I take you there, I want to show you this really cool spot that I told you is one of the best kept secrets here that are City Place that a lot of people don't know about. So you are about to be one of the ones that are in on the secret. So look at this. They made a, a, like a little thing here of sand. That's pretty nice, it's really artistic. So let me show you my secret here. You see, it's really well, well hidden. They have city bar at city place Doral. You see, it is really right up in the corner. Like you see the plaza is right there. And if you're not from here or you don't have a furry friend, you might not even know that you have a little hidden uh, park here for your dogs. You see how that cute? You can sit there while you watch your furry friend play. Or go to the bathroom. There you go, there you have it. You also have the bikes here that you can 
uh, the bike rack so you can put here where if you want to drive to City Place Doral or if you live across the street. Uh, now if you come here, you also can Uber or uh, do a lift and this is where you're gonna be able to wait for your rides up here. So now, let me take you upstairs where I'm gonna show you where the improv comedy club is here in City Place Doral. Now improv uh, comedy, it's right off the second floor and it's in a little corner like you see. This is the plaza down there and back here is the improv comedy. We have October 6th, we have Whitney Grace. I don't know who she is, but she will be here. <laughs> so if you know her. <laughs> so you can either buy your uh, tickets online or you can buy it here at the box office. And the entrance is up over here. So I'm also going to throw a picture of two because I brought my family and friends and I've come here with my husband. Once you come here to watch a comedy, they have an extensive menu that offers you uh, dinner, desserts, drinks, and even salads. <laughs> okay, so what else do we also have? We have King's America, Top 42 Kitchen and Restaurant, and Martini Bar for those that like the nightlife. So as you can tell guys, there's quite a few things that you can do here, whether you have a family, you want to bring friends, or if you want to live here. By the way guys, my name is Betty Gonzalez with DXP Realty and Dura Homes by Betty Gonzalez. So if you're new to the channel and you like to know what's going on in Dura Market, subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be the first one to know when I have a new video about the market in Dura. Now, I talk about everything and the last thing I have to talk about is the pros and the cons of living here in City Place Dura. Let's start with the pros. Well, you are really right by the Palmetto Expressway so as soon as you get off the Palmetto Expressway, you're gonna drive just a few minutes down the street on the left, the left hand side, you're going to be hitting just the city place right on your left hand side. You're very close to the banks, you close right underneath, you have a supermarket, you have a school, the Renaissance right behind on your steps doors, and you have entertaining and restaurants, all kinds of stuff right outside of your house. If you live in the flats, you have all conveniences, right? In actual apartment itself, as you have uh, special classes for the gym, you have a rooftop pool, you have all kinds of amenities uh, if you were to live there. Now, some of the cons is that you live here. So there's a lot of outsiders that come here to enjoy the beautiful place of City Place uh, for the amenities, for the activities, for the nightlife, so you're gonna have a little traffic coming in and out of the area. So that's one of the cons, which is also a pro, if you like to be around family. I mean, if you like to be around people, I mean. <laughs> now, some of the cons that will be a pro for some, of, for some people is that there's a lot of Spanish speaking. And even in the signage, it's in Spanish. Let me, let me turn the camera around and show it. I'll show you what I'm talking You see, that's in Spanish. Uh, if you see the other one there that talk about the hospitals, it's in Spanish. Uh, we have a large Hispanic population, so they cater to the people that live in the community. However, most people do speak English, just that there's a lot of Spanish speaking. So that could be a, a con, but for those that like to be around culture, that could be a pro. And or for the people that want to be in their own, uh, in an area that speak their own language, that also could be a, a pro for you. Another pro is that you live right really close to the airport. So as long as you, as soon as you get on the Palmetto Expressway, or if you get to the 836 on the other end, then you're also right there. What, what else? You're close to the atrium that is getting, is getting built. It's another development that is being done with the walk, live, play mindset because they wanna have a walkability Doral. So not only do you leave Fuse from the atrium right off of also the Doral Boulevard on 36, right on the other side of 36, you're gonna hit the back end of downtown Doral, which if you drive a little bit further or walk, you're also gonna be enjoying the benefits of living close to downtown Doral, which they also offers a plethora of restaurants and other amenities over there, as well as the big park. So that's also a pro. What's a con? Well, I'm gonna tell you a con that it's really expensive to live here. If you wanna live in a single family home, you have to have 
million dollar kind of a budget because they are up in there they're high in the one million to the upper or lower two million dollars right now and even if you want to live in an apartment you have to have at least half a million dollars to get into one if not more and by the way it's low inventory so even if you want to buy one right now there's no one on the market for you to buy so that's a con another con is that you have all kinds of restaurants right outside of your, your door i mean it's like you have from healthy choices to regular Mexican food to American staples as well as pastries and dessert and ice cream spots as well as coffee spots. You, you don't have a lack of choices to say the least. Another con is that if you have guests coming over, they will have to pay for a parking spot, at least if they're going to stay any longer than two hours, because the first two hours is for free. However, it is also a problem because they have a very tight turning spots for to go from different floors. So if you are someone that's going to come to visit to the city place, or even if you want to live here, I will say if you have a choice of a big car or a small car, I will advise for you to bring a smaller vehicle so that you can fit in through the tight spot. So that is a, a big con for me. Hey guys, you know a, a little bit about the city place, about its history, when it started, the reason that it was built, the, the way it was built, uh, you know its amenities, you know the pros, some of the pros and some of the cons, the restaurant, the nightlife, the supermarket, <laughs> and the real estate so now you are a little bit more informed if you like to move here to city place or if you want to just come check us out and pay us a visit and remember my name is Betty Gonzalez serving the military community of South Florida from serving our country to serving you see you in the next video bye